I was editing the first half of this video and I looked at it and I thought, I don't know, I really don't like that. It was the, I kept calling it, they look like great hyacinths. Of course they're not, they're the, they're the tall blue f flowers. I can't think of their name now. And it suddenly occurred to me, why on earth didn't you use lettering? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why some of you might think, what's she on about lettering? 10 mils, insert symbol. And, go and pick up a full stop. Okay. There it is. One little lonely full stop. And I'm going to put it there. Then I'm going to use Control D. And I'm going to move that second one just down to there. And then I right click and I drag a third one down to there. And I right click and I drag a fourth one down to there. And I right click onto it and I drag a fifth one. And then I right click again. A sixth one. Seventh. Eighth. nine and still right clicking on my circle that I made because that duplicates it and you can just punk it where you want you just drag right click and drag and I move that one out a little bit and then right click and drag and right click and drag and then right click and drag right click and drag and there you go and I turn it to colors I highlight that and I change that to we'll say the blue uh, that's a nicer blue there you go I can't think of the name of them. I keep thinking hollyhocks, but I know they're not hollyhocks. Delphiniums. But they also look like grape hyacinths. So that's another way of doing it. And I think that's a slightly neater way. Now, the other method I was going to show you, which was in the second half of this video, I looked at what I was doing and I thought, no, that's no good either. Because even if you branch it, you still get an awful mess. So I've picked up my run line tool and I dropped my first node. I'm going to turn that one around. Bring that one out to there. Right node. Left node. Right node. Right node. Left node. Right. Left. Bring him down to here. Right left. Now I'm going to go, go back up because otherwise this will take me hours to show you. Right. Left. Come on, in you go. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Enter that. Now, there's no jumps. 
what I can do now is I can go edit I can't I haven't selected it go away click on that one edit branch start it up here No, I'm just going to tell that no. Stop that. Okay. Highlight that. Okay, right click and drag that one and maybe bring it down as far as there and then tell that one to flip vertically thank you tuck him into there making certain that it touches one of those original ones and click off that there is my run stitch click on the run stitch tool one right click left click right click right click left click and then just follow this one up here right right left onto that one right right left onto that one right 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 around to that one and then and that was the left I just give myself one in here one two three rights four rights and a left and enter that okay now I'm gonna get rid of my tool by clicking my white cross in a red circle up the top highlight all that go to edit branch and I tell that one I want it to start at the bottom finish up the top okay object and there it is and I can turn that one into a motif so that's a different way you can use your full stop in your lettering and your symbol to create one of these or you can use your run line tool and just make yourself a run and then build it up like frog spawn and we'll change the color of the red and we'll make that into a purple You've got a nice rich purple there we go then I thought well if we're doing hand embroidery why aren't we doing lazy daisies because everybody loves lazy daisy stitching embroidery and I'm going to pick up a colour first I don't particularly want to do a white daisy but you could stitch this in white even though you digitise it in a different colour and I want to turn it into a motif so 
I have to decide where my trace line is going to be. Now every time you lay a node around a shape, that's your digitizing trace line. Okay? When you're going to make a motif, your trace line is the two points that you select for your line to follow. So when you digitize, you just go dot, dot, and up comes a motif run line. So I want to start this side, and I want to end there. And I must remember this time, I've got to start at the top. So out on the edge, in up part way. Right. A right. A left. Right. Left. And now we've got to come back down on this one because I went up to the top. And then into the middle, up to my next one. Not up quite so high as I did on that first one. One, that's the right, that's the left. Out, back, up to that middle node. Then my right, then my left. Okay, not quite into the middle. Then I want to come over this way. Right, a right, a left, out, back, into the middle, a right, a left, into this area at this side. Okay, a right, a left, out, back, go on, back you go. Oops, took that one too far out. I didn't put that one in the right position. There it is. Out to the right. Back in. Up over to this one. A right. A left. Out. Back. Come on. Right. Don't take it too far out, you'll swell the shoulders out too much. I'm back into here. And this time, go across. Okay. A right. A left. Out. Back. Get in there. Right left and up to that one. A right, a left. Don't let them get too wide. Up, back, middle, right, left, back. I'd have done better if I'd have gone. Started on one of these, gone straight across to that one, come back and gone to there, then to there, then to there, then to there, and so on. And then I could have come to that one and across to that one to finish up, but never mind. But if I'd done that, I couldn't start over here and end over there. And that's what I'm after. I'll come out. Right, left, catch stitch there. Down, back to the middle. 
out, left, and they don't have to be perfect, because if you ever saw my lazy daisies, you'd wonder what on earth I made them with. But my kids like them. And then we come back in, we come out to there. A right, a left. Now I'm coming down, in, back up, in and out and ending there. And there's my lazy daisy.